Hi, I'm Bjorn. And I'm Brad. And we're from Brewing TV. And today we're going to talk to you about the beer bug. What exactly is the beer bug, Brad? Well, the beer bug is a, a pretty unique Wi-Fi enabled device that actually takes real-time measurements of the specific gravity of your fermenting batch, uh, the temperature, and also the, the time base. So you can, you can see the data in real time and it's all recorded onto a website. And I don't have to open it up and take a sample or anything? No, like that. no, no. That's one of the best things about the beer bug. Um, because everything is self included or self contained, there is no need to open the carboy physically and to draw a sample. How exactly is it measuring the specific gravity if it's not even? Well, it's a really cool, unique system. Um, so there's a couple different components to the beer bug. Uh, one is the actual beer bug head unit itself. And this unit is responsible for communicating with the Wi-Fi network and relaying the data back to the server. And it accomplishes this by the use of what is called the torpedo. So this is a very specifically weighted, um, weighted unit here that will actually float in the wort and then it attaches via fishing line to the actual beer bag uh, head unit. And that will stick into any carboy with a standard stopper. How exactly does it link up to my home Wi-Fi? Well, that's a pretty cool system they've got built in as well. Um, inside here is a, uh, an optical sensor. And so you use any Android or iOS device uh, with a, it's, an, it's a feature called blink up. So what you do is you actually take out your, take out your phone or your tablet, you open up the BeerBug app, select blink up, hit the button to go, and you place it on there. And it will actually start to blink and send the beer bug the Wi-Fi network name and the password. Hmm, wow. It's, a, it, it's really cool. It works really well. How does it measure temperature? Uh, well, actually, there's uh, two different methods. Uh, right out of the box, the beer bug actually has an integrated temperature sensor built in. Uh, but what that does is it actually measures the temperature of the of the CO2 coming out of solution. Um, the other, the other uh, option you have is to get the the accessory here, which is a, a long stainless steel probe that actually plugs in to the bottom of the beer bug. And so that way you are actually recording the very actual temperature of your fermentation. Now I don't, I don't always make beer. I sometimes make wine or mead. Does it, does it work with those as well? It sure does, yes. Uh, the beer bug itself will uh, measure specific gravities in the range of 0 0.900 to 1.3. So you can throw anything at it and it's going to be able to uh, to measure that gravity. And does it matter how big the fermenter is? So as long as the liquid level is above and this is fully submerged and not hitting the bottom of your fermenter, mm -hmm. it will work in any size batch. You know, how much space does it take up? Eight inches from the top of the airlock to the top of your uh, lid on your fermenter. This is the unit we have installed here, which is the elbow. That allows you to install the airlock. Um, but if space is a concern or active fermentation is a concern, this guy will screw in the same hole and allow you to attach a blow off tube. This is compatible with any uh, PC, Mac computer, any Android device or iOS device. Um, and you can, you, you can look at the data on any of those devices if you have an Android or an iPhone. And it's, it's just a website as far as if you're, you're on your computer? Yep, on your computer. Uh, you just go to uh, thebeerbug.com. Otherwise, there are uh, applications available in both the Apple Store and, and Google Play. Now, with the software or the app or the website, is it pretty easy to use and intuitive? Yeah, it's pretty intuitive. It's a really well, uh, well laid out app and website. It's uh, really easy to read. It's really easy to gather your data and, and everything. How many of these can I use? Well, that's a really cool thing about this technology as well, is you can have multiple, multiple beer bugs running at the same time, all reporting within the one application on your phone or on the website. Mm -hmm. And what's also cool is the, the app and the website will also calculate out the current alcohol by volume uh, during fermentation. Wow. As far as, you know, is it something that needs to be calibrated? How does, how does that work? I mean, how does it know what the gravity is? Sure. I mean, you still do need a way to, to determine the original gravity of your fermentation, whether it be a hydrometer or a refractometer. Okay. So you take that reading first, and then what you do is you would install the beer bug, and then recommended let it sit for an hour just to make sure any sort of temperature variations are, are minimized. And then you actually go into the app or you go into the website and you start a new brew and it will ask you what the, the specific gravity is. And so that's 
that's how you calibrate it. That's your baseline. That's your baseline. Well, it sounds pretty useful as far as the repeatability and if a beer turns out great, you have all the data so that you can go back and rebrew it. Exactly. Uh, if something goes wrong, you have all the data so you can go back and fix it next time you brew it. Yeah, it's just a wonderful time. tool for, for repeatability and everything. It works wonderfully. Great. Well, thanks for walking me through it. Yeah, absolutely. Check one out.